Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new video here on my channel. So in today's video guys we're going to be going over the new modes and gameplay that are narrative based going on in uh, Forza Horizon 4 as well as stories which is a new part of the game. We'll be going over that in just a moment. But before we get into today's video guys, if you are new around here and you're not sure what we're doing, this is the Forza Horizon 4 information show and what we do on the show guys is we discuss Forza Horizon 4 to the absolute max up to the game's release in October and then a whole load of videos to come after that so stay tuned for those. If you do go on to enjoy today's video guys, please slap that like button as hard as you can and subscribe so you never miss a future Forza Horizon 4 video here on my channel. So. Horizon 4 features narrative-based gameplay and stories will be a part of it. So Microsoft started E3 with a bang, taking the wraps off the latest entry in its Forza series called Horizon 4. The game takes place in Britain and features numerous enhancements over its predecessor Forza Horizon 3, obviously set in Australia. One of the upcoming changes is Horizon Stories. They are narrative-based sections which require you to become a stunt driver or operate a taxi company. Destructoid um, managed to get more details about the mode in a behind-closed-doors meeting with Playground Games art director Benjamin Penrose. So what he said was, one of the things that's brand new is that they've added a feature called Horizon Stories. They're really cool little bite-sized pieces of narrative-based gameplay that will centre around certain activities involved in you owning businesses, interacting with certain people. For example, in one of them you'll have a chance to own a taxi company. However, driving a taxi in the real world is very different from the sort of action in Horizon games, so you can kind of imagine how that ends up. There are a whole bunch of different things like that. There's one where you'll be able to be a stunt driver. We even do have a story where you take on the narratives that are associated with other racing games, and one of those is based on Crazy Taxi. You can imagine how that ends up as well. Many gamers were worried that Forza Horizon 4 would be more of the same, however the more that we get to know about the game, dynamic seasons, shared world, gameplay and stories, the more it seems like a definitive evolution for the franchise. Following up on the Australian journey packed into Horizon 3, Horizon 4 will take fans to a brand new location. One of the key features that uh, Microsoft and developer Playground Games are hyping up is the game's dynamic season system, which will switch, switch from snow to falling leaves and plenty of rain as the time goes on. So obviously guys, if you don't know, Forza Horizon 4 is set to launch on October 2nd, 2018. And if you pick up the Ultimate Edition, you can get early access starting on September 28th. And Horizon 4 is also available as part of Xbox Game Pass on Xbox One and PC through Xbox Play Anywhere. So what are your thoughts about these uh, these stories, the based gameplay, narrative based, all of that kind of jazz? Um, personally, I think it would be quite a good thing to do. Um, people have wanted more kind of mini games to do uh, in the open world when they completed the game. So... Obviously, they've listened. But let me know, guys, down there in the comment section uh, down below what you think about these and how you will implement them into your daily life cycle of playing Horizon 4. Let me know down, down there in the comments below. But that's it for me in today's video, guys, and I did hope you enjoy it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in my next video, guys. So I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.